Legandrol. Lingadrol. Leandrol. Legandrol or LGD4033. She says she's never heard of it before. Ligandrol is what we call a selective androgen receptor modulator. What this means is it works a lot like an anabolic steroid in that it tells muscles to repair and to grow. So Ligandrol is a drug that's being developed in America and was first invented in 2009. We tested in humans in 2013 and showed that it was safe and the most recent clinical trials were completed in 2018. In those trials, they found that the drug was really great at helping older people who were trying to recover from hip fractures. Now the important thing to note here is the drug is still experimental and it's not approved in either the US or Australia. So Ligandrol is different from an anabolic steroid in that it's much better at just recognising where the muscles are and working on them, whereas an anabolic steroid will tend to bind to lots of different things inside the body. The result of that is that anabolic steroids tend to have a lot of side effects. You can have some short term ones like acne, mood swings and particularly becoming more aggressive. And, but it also has a lot more long-term side effects, particularly liver and kidney damage. Now, in contrast to that, Ligridol has far fewer side effects. In fact, from the clinical trials that have been done so far, the side effects are limited to headaches and a dry mouth. So if Ligridol is not legal in Australia, how can it end up in someone's system? Well, in this country, we have lots of different types of supplements. Some of those are registered with the Australian Therapeutic Goods Administration. And for those types of supplements, the TGA has approved all the ingredients as safe. But there are many supplements that haven't been approved by the TGA, and they may include chemicals that are not listed on the label. So as a consumer, how can you lower your risk of accidentally taking a drug like Ligandrol? Look for those products that are approved by the Therapeutic Goods Administration. You can identify those by the listing of an OSTEL number on the label at the front of the bottle.